Wildcard Custom Paint Pimp. That's my brother Scooby. Say hi, Scoob. Hey, everybody. Okay. This is, let me turn some light on here. Do I got light? There we go. This is, people are not understand what I'm saying. This is a vet that I bought for $2,800 and I parted the parcel I didn't need and I got my, I got $3,200 back so I made my money. The maroon vet I crashed and that is only for parts. Okay, I just come out here to see what I got to do. Um, I see I, I do have a lot of the heating system and a lot of the brake system that I didn't need to pull out. The stuff that I can still sell is that steering column I don't need. Um, I don't need this back bumper. I don't need that passenger side door. I don't need that stock rear end. So I'm going to make some money off this. But anyway, and you see that a regular vet, this, this is rubber on the front that bolts on. This is fiberglass on. And I remember going to look at it and the guy didn't tell me it was fiberglass and I weaseled them. And I like it because it's fiberglass because the rubber bumpers, they always wrinkle. But anyway, he wanted three grand for it. Now I remember I only paid him twenty eight hundred because I pretend I was talking on a cell phone, talking to somebody that would bring, have to bring it back to original because I told him I wanted original, but I didn't. It needs to be worked on. Anyway, my point being, let's move on. You know how I'm high strung. Okay, here is my hood that I'm going to use. Um, that's the rear bumper that I don't need. Here's the sad part, people. This is this is an eighty Corvette. My maroon's eighty Corvette, and I haven't figured this one out. This is automatic. If you go back in my old videos yesterday, mine is a stick shift. And it doesn't have that dent there. And it doesn't have that there. I thought it would have been interchangeable. Uh, what am I going to do now? I don't know. Uh, I don't really want to cut the hole the other one. But I might. I don't. I don't think it's going to be a cluster, put it that way. Um, just like I said on all other vets, two vets I've owned, they always rust out here, and I always put the Eastwood rust preventer on it, and it does work. I spent some time, I went back and I undercoated the floors and everything out here in the sun about six years ago. I got a harebrained idea about these buckets, these lights, I know they're worth big money. Big money on eBay. I don't know if I'm gonna use them. Anyway, I found I did find my air con air conditioner condensers. Maybe I'll use the air, but I probably kind of doubt it. Anyway, let's move on. Here's when I get this thing done. This is what I really want to move to. This has been setting for 18, 20 years. It's like a, a tomb. See, this started out as a little piece of rust, and I did cut some of it out. But all this is covered. So anyway, and it got rust here. But it has taken a toll over the years. It was quite solid when I bought it. See, what I did is, because I wasn't smart. Look at, see the leopard print headliner? Yeah. And the velvet console. Anyway, the reason I wasn't smart is I put the sunroof in. And I planned on working on it. And I didn't, I didn't um, seal the sunroof off because... Um, I wanted to get the paint to roll underneath this lip so I never mounted it in. The first one I did, I put it in there, I didn't have it mounted in, I went down the road and it flew out. That was the first one so I had to buy another sunroof that was bigger. Anyway, because the water got in because it used to set outside. So it rusted the floor pans. Not bad, but enough where I'm not working on them. So I bought new floor pans and they're starting to rust. Um. I didn't tear it all apart. My vest more tore apart than this. Like I said, all my fenders and everything are at my house, been in storage. I did redo the whole front end. Big block springs on it. New suspension. Diamond plate took the heater out like a dummy. And there she sat. Been sat for a long time. I'm trying to get to the point to work on this. Let me see the rust. Um, here's the bottom of the passenger door. 
bottom of the passenger door. Um, the rear quarter is not all, all eight to hell. I'm sure I'm gonna find something. Somebody's, somebody's, somebody's body work probably in there. I'm sure of that. This one is the worst side per se. It used to be a little pinhole. Now I do have a fourth of a quarter. The inner is there. Yeah, the inner is there, but is it savable? It's hard telling. But the back is not. Anyway, I got bored with this. I ain't gonna say I got bored with it. Um, it's just it wasn't getting done fast enough. How many minutes do I got left? I don't know. Let's just move on and make this quick. This is what happens when you don't put stuff in storage. I'll take care of it, Scoob. This is what happens when you don't put shit in storage. At least it's salvageable. This is my other brother's. He just bought this. It's Trans M's, T top. I like it. I wish it was mine. I wish mine was T top. But I'm sure somebody put it, whenever somebody puts something in primer and doesn't paint it, you're already there. Why didn't you paint it? Because I think they put it in primer just to cover some crap up. But hey, that's just not my, that's just my opinion. I'm not going to say nothing about it. This is my brother's first car. And it was nice until you let us sit outside. And then this is what happens. We're talking new quarters, new rockers, everything. But this is what happens when you let a tire get flat. That's what happens. You see ground. Now it's fucking eaten away. Because he should have put it in storage. Or he should have put it on blocks. So when the tire goes flat. That it won't rust to hell. And then when you're not careful. And you're cutting a tree down. I didn't do it. That's what happens. When you're not careful. Take that. This is a nice car. Real nice car. Like I said, it had been all restored. And then something happened where you, get, you let it set. Gets the door don't open. I say it's gone. My opinion. Maybe that's why um, he bought this. I'm sure that's why. We both wanted T-tops. You can see the T-top don't fit that great. For some reason. It's not mine, I'm not touching it. Um, even though it's in primer, Really? What do you think that is right there? Think that's top-notch bodywork? Really? Because I know it's not, just by looking at it. Um, you can just tell by the body line. You see the scratches? You see them? Returns, yeah, I got some light on. See the scratches? You can see where the body line is? They worked them. Not that it's bad. Why'd you put it in primer already? It wasn't ready, because you're trying to cover some shit up. That's why. That's the only reason people put shit in primer. It's not a junk car. It's T-topped. They're rare. Head velvet interior. It's got power and you can tell because it ain't got the switches there. Steering wheel is worth money. Um, the, the steering wheel seems like it's wrong to me because it should be tan, but I could be wrong. I don't know everything. The pieces for the inside of the T-top, they're pricey. Trust me. Real pricey. These seals are real pricey. It could be nice. Will he finish it? He's only on it for maybe a month. He didn't finish that, did he? Okay, that's why I'm a finisher. That's why um, I say I'm living on borrowed time because I got shit to do every day. I can't be letting my shit just sit there and die. Because rust don't sleep, people, okay? Rust don't never sleep. It's always trying to grow. The engine hoist was supposed to be here, but it ain't. Okay. Anyway, this is my dad's Hudson. It's a Hudson Deluxe. It could be a nice car. Huh, I don't know why it won't. Maybe there's a reason why it won't open. I don't know why, but um, it's still got the steering wheel. 
So it's got this slide window in it. That's pretty neat. The slide window on it. Um, guy looked at it before and wanted to buy it. My dad told him no. Um, looked like somebody had painted it with a brush. Um, will my dad finish? You know, look at this shifter knob. Isn't that so fucking cool? Original shifter knob. It could be. I showed you my dad's caddy. And my dad's 34 Pontiac that I kind of like the most. My dad's Falcon. My dad's Impala. He backed into something. Um, nice garage. Um, I guess that's why I finished. Nothing against my dad. Um, it's really hard to finish. And my dad's probably what? How is he? 72? 72. 71 and he really doesn't have a desire to work on anything and who am I to say anything about that? But that's people. That's why I work every day in the garage because This would give me anxiety Of not being finished. That's just me and I feel if I'm working on something every day. I'm getting closer to the goal I'll show you something that you young strapping bucks probably don't know nothing about but anybody my age or older knows Back in the day, and you can't even get them anymore. Those are the motherfucking tires. Super stock Formula Ones, bias tires. They're my brothers. They're brand new. He said them there on that old Firebird, the red one. Twenty some years. I've tried to buy them so many times. You know why I like them? I love the fat letters. Why is this fucking thing so damn blurry? I love. I love the fat tires. I mean, I'm sorry, the fat letters. It's getting quite hot in here, and I need to get some pieces. You know what, people? I'd love to have this garage. I would love it. But if I wanted it that bad, I guess I would go get a loan or something and get it. But this is my moral, my story. Let me shut the light off. This is me. Take it for what it's worth. Really? I'm an excellent cameraman, ain't I? Okay. Wow. Maybe I was more prepared. I want this garage. Don't get me wrong. Am I envious? Yes, I am. Am I jealous? Sure. It's, it's okay to be jealous, but don't don't be negative about it. If I want it, I'd get it. And I want it, but I'm not willing to work for the man to get the money to get this. Because what I like is, I like having my life and doing what I want to do every day. That's what life is to me. I want this, don't need this. Would really like to have this. Can't always get what you want. Sometimes you just get what you need. Just my opinion, if I shove it down your throat and you don't like it, just regurgitate it back up. That's all you got to do. Peace of mind, peace of property, peace of oneself, peace of pussy, peace of something, motherfucker. Hey, Scoop, yeah. is Tommy Shoe kind of out of control? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Go on and tell the truth. Don't bullshit here. Always, every day. <laughs> but is he a good-hearted guy? Oh, yeah. Okay. He, he, Scooby's my brother I get along with. Because you know why? We know our boundaries. We know when to shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying, Scoob? Yeah. Peace.